Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 124 binary tree maximum path sum. So a path in a binary tree is a sequence of nodes where each pair of adjacent nodes in the sequence has an edge connecting them. A node can only appear in the sequence at most once. Note that the path does not need to pass through the root. The path sum of a path is the sum of the nodes values in the path. Given the root of a binary tree, return the maximum path sum of any non-empty path. So in example one, we have this binary tree. The output is six because the maximum path sum is one plus two plus three. In example two, we have this binary tree. The output is 42, where we have the maximum path sum equaling this subtree right here, 15 plus 20 plus seven. Okay, so there's a lot to consider with this question. We're going to be using DFS. So we need to keep track of the maximum path. So we'll just call it max for now. And what we're gonna do is constantly update this. So we're gonna initially gonna set our maximum to zero. So let's run through this binary tree and see what we need to return. So we're gonna do a depth first search approach and we're gonna traverse the left and the right before visiting the root. So let's do that. So let's go down to the left. We reach this null value down here. Okay, so nine's pointed to null. When we reach an null value, we can return zero. We need to return an integer in this case because our actual output is going to be an integer. So we have a base case. And that is if the node we're on is equal to null, just return zero. So we're gonna return zero here. We're gonna return zero here because we've gone down the left side, the right side, and then we visit the root. Okay, so it's gonna be a post order traversal. We reach this nine. The current max at this point is going to be the left side plus the root value plus the right side. So this is the current max. So zero plus nine plus zero. Is that greater than our max of zero? Yes, it is. So we can update that. Now, what we need to pass up from this side is going to be the maximum between the left value and the right value plus the root value. Now the reason we do this is because we cannot take both of these subtrees, so this left side and this right side, we cannot include both of those in this path, right? This path here is a valid path, and this path right here is a valid path. But including both of them is not valid. So we need to return up the root value plus the maximum between left or right. So in this case, it's just zero, so we're gonna return up nine. Now we need to go down the left side or the right side here, but go down the left. So we reach this null value. Again, we're going to return up zero. Go down the right, return up zero. Now here's the sticking point. We have a negative value here. So our current value at this minute, or our current max is zero plus minus two plus zero. So that's minus two, right? So is that greater than this max here? No, so we can keep the maximum at nine. Now, what do we return up from here? Because if we return up minus two, whatever we add that to, it's gonna be decreasing the overall max, which is something we don't want. So in this case, we need to return up zero. So now we're at 20, current max is, well, let's go down the right side. This is gonna be connected to a null. That's gonna return up zero. The current max is zero plus 20 plus zero, which is gonna be 20, so we can update the max. And then we return up 20. We go down the right side, we return up zero. Here we have a current max of 20 plus 15 plus zero. So that's 35, so we can update the maximum. So we have 35 as our maximum at this moment in time. Now what we turn, return up from here is the root value plus the maximum between left and right. So that's going to be 20 plus 15, which is 35. Then we traverse the right tree and then the left so we reach null here, turn up zero, turn up zero. Current max is zero plus seven plus zero, so that's not greater than 35. So we return up seven plus the maximum, so that's gonna be seven. Now we have a current max of 35 plus 20 plus seven, which is equal to 55 plus seven, which is equal to 62. So that's greater than 35, so we can update the max. Now we return up the root value plus the maximum between left and right. So that's going to be 35 plus 20. So we return up 55. Now at this level, 
we have the root value of 10 plus 9 plus 55, which is equal to 74. So we can update the max again. And because we've reached the root, we have nowhere else to look. So we return this value here. So the complexity analysis for this question time is going to be O n, where n is the number of nodes, since we visit each node no more than twice. And then space is going to be O of h, where h is the height of the tree. So let's code this out. So we need the max variable, which will initially set to negative infinity. I said in the explanation it should be zero, but actually it should be negative infinity just to account for any values less than zero. Okay, so let's create the function. We'll call it DFS. We're gonna pass in root. When we call it, we'll pass in root. And we also need to return max at the end of this. So as we said in the explanation, if root is undefined, we can return zero. So if we reach a null value, we just return up an integer. Then we need to do the post order traversal. So left, right, then root. So let's get the left, which is equal to DFS root dot left. Let's do the same for the right, but on the right side, so DFS root dot right. And then we can get the current max. So current max is going to be equal to left plus root dot val plus right. So this is where we're getting the total of the subtree. Now the issue is at this moment in time, we haven't accounted for negative values. And the way we do that is by using math.max and comparing the left side with zero and returning whichever value is greatest. And we can do the same for the right, zero DFS root dot right. This way, we're always going to be returning a positive value. So we're never going to be decreasing the overall maximum path sum. Then we can update the max. So I'll equal maximum between current max and max. And finally, what we need to return up the tree is root.val plus the maximum between left and right. Okay, let's give that a go. And there you have it.